In today's health headlines this morning, back to school can mean back to bullying yeah, for some kids. So we're talking about how parents can recognize if their child is being bullied. Yeah, also talking about a brand new kind of therapy for kids who have been bullied about their weight has been uh, tested out. So joining us today, Janet Lidecker, PhD psychologist and assistant professor of psychiatry at Yale School of Medicine and director of the Teen Power Program at Yale. First, I wanna thank you so much for being here, doctor. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Great to see you here and such an important topic now upon us with the new school year in session. I want to talk about here what signs a parent may be looking out for to determine if their child is feeling distressed or being bullied. Such a good question and it can be really hard, particularly with teens who do change their behavior and their emotions quite often. But in general, when kids start uh, not wanting to hang out with their friends or show signs that their mood is fluctuating quite a bit, that, that's a sign that something's going on and it might be bullying. Doctor, let me ask you about the, uh, the treatment for bullying. What, uh, if you're a parent and you suspect you have a child being bullied, what do you do? This is something that has been going on forever. Are there some new treatments in the offing here? Yeah, so we don't have many treatments for bullying. Much of the efforts have focused on preventing bullying at the school level, which is so important to do. Uh, but we need specific bull bullying treatments as well to prevent some of those negative consequences of bullying. Therapists can help. There are good supportive therapies that can deal with all of the mental health problems that emerge from bullying. Um, but we really wanted to create something specifically for parents whose kids have been bullied um, to have a resource. Yeah, and have you seen any kind of effects? Um, what effects do, does bullying have on kids? It's such a terrible thing that can look different in everyone, I'm sure. It certainly does look different, um, but the, the consequences of bullying are pretty serious. So it can be depression, even to the point of suicidality. It can be anxiety and it can be eating disorders, which is particularly what I was focused on. And when kids are bullied because of their appearance or their weight, which is the most common reason they're bullied, uh, that those changes in eating and body image are particularly likely. Dr. Lidecker, we appreciate your time. Very, very important subject all year long, but especially this time of the year. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And we'll be right back. More Good Morning Connecticut after this.